zero and sub zero temperatures. Uh, Jade, when might we get above zero? So it looks like tomorrow or even within the next couple of hours, we might make it to about one, two degrees this afternoon. But after that, tomorrow will be our best chance at getting above zero. Taking a look back at last week, we got snow totals every single day, starting with Monday, a little bit over an inch at Epley. And then we ended the week with 6.2 inches of snow. That's the official Epley report from Friday. We actually broke a record with this. The previous record was set back in 18. 90. That's over 130 years ago. We broke that with getting 6.2 inches of snow on Friday. So quick check of the last 10 days. We were pretty steady in the mid to low 30s all the way through about Wednesday. This is pretty typical for this time of year. Once we hit the end of the week, we quickly dropped down into the mid 20s by Thursday, 11 degrees Friday, and then back into the negatives for the high yesterday. And for today, I haven't had an official high yet, but likely that'll be close to about zero to one degrees for our high today. As far as lows go, we're following the same trend here between Monday and Tuesday. We dropped down significantly and we've had lows in the negatives all the way through the past through our four mornings rather. I do have some good news for you. Although tomorrow is another six first alert weather day with some cold temperatures on the way once again, we will make it to about 11 degrees for our high and then warming back into the 20s by Wednesday. I do want to give you a first alert though to some snow chances returning to the area by Thursday. I'll take a closer look at that forecast coming up. Dave. Jay, thank you.